You know, at some point you purchase a game, but what do you own of that game nowadays? Now it seems that developers are willing to go into these video games and completely change certain features that are seen as Easter eggs, that are seen as something very not risque, ultimately. And consumers enjoy that. They like to have these hidden Easter eggs in them. But now we have Tomb Raider, the remastered version of Tomb Raider that was originally promised not to really change anything. Now the developer, after the fact, after the resales of the remaster have come out, they're going back into the game and changing things for the worse. A lot of this starts with what's going on with Tomb Raider. The first they bring up this remaster, they put a, a label on the game, a trigger warning in particular on the game, saying the developers don't prove of what's happening in this game, but here it is in its original form. And back a ways, they, they turn around and they censored certain things in the game. This one in particular is talking about a jacket in a very nuanced scene in the game. Anyway, before I get fully get into the topic here today, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things that YouTube likes. And hey, if you want to help support the channel, hop on the membership, hop on the Patreon that's there, because those things help support this channel in particular. Despite promise of games would appear in their original form, Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered censors risky graphic found on Pierre's jacket. So this is the jacket in particular. In the original form, it was a very, very, very pixelated version of a nude model. They turn around and put on a bra. That, but honestly, it is not anything in particular. Nothing, you could barely see this in the game but this isn't why i'm making this video i'm making this video because a actual easter egg in the third rendition of tomb raider has been now removed tomb raider 1 through 3 remastered hit with post released censorship as a new update re removes laura croft pinups from tomb raider 3 the lost artifact so there is pictures here where you can see Laura Croft is posing um, in just a sort of pinup. This is an Easter egg. This was something the fans of the game liked as a Easter egg in the game. And now in the new version of it, they have removed them. Two pinups in question, both of which were promotional renders made for Tomb Raider 3 proper, can be found hung on Laura's scuba gear locker at the start of the game's fourth level sleeping with the fishes. Now, is there anything wrong with these posters? There's absolutely nothing. This is an Easter egg in the game. I thought this was a nothing whatsoever but they turn around and remove these. And why are they removing these? Well, there's a few reasons that I can come up with why they're removing these. And one in particular is to drum up controversy, to turn around and say, we're removing these things because we sold you this game and our sales have fallen flat. So let's let's remove these and say, maybe we'll get more sales out of it. There's probably a few people that'll see these videos and sit there and go, oh, you know what? Uh, it, they've removed them. I, I, I didn't even know the Tomb Raider remastered version was out there on PC. Maybe I should go buy these and, and just ignore these two things being removed. But this think legislation really needs to come in on these types of things where the original version of the game when you buy the original version of the game under the promise under the guise that the original version of the game is not really going to be changed that it's going to be original in its true and nature they they put in a trigger warning on this game for some odd reason uh trying to depict the game as something that was original we're keeping it in its original form and then they turn around and say listen we sold you the game now, we're removing these things. We're removing them entirely. It's not even that big of a deal. Like I've seen pictures like this absolutely way worse. Um, this is just, it, it was a neat little Easter egg to pay homage to the character and why the character is a strong female woman in these games. Why she was voted one of the, one of the top female icons of video games you know I, I i always when i see these uh things i always think back to samus of metroid but 
Tomb Raider actually was put up on the, that pillar saying she was one of the top female characters that broke through a lot of the barriers that they glamour are there in the first place. These two pinups are nothing. Uh, this is something you would see on a promotional poster, something you would see on a calendar. Um, I've seen, like I said, I've seen extremely way worse than this and not get removed or not get anything uh, downright distasteful out of it. These are tasteful nudes if it really comes down to it, but it's not even that big of a deal because they're so small in the first place. Like I can zoom in here. Oh my God, I'm zooming in. And, oh yeah, like if I wanna zoom in more, I have to actually physically do something more. There we go, I'm zoomed right in. What are we looking at? What are we actually looking at? Oh, look, we have, we, she signed it. Like, come on, Th this is, this is pathetic absolutely pathetic for them to turn around and remove these from the game. At the end of the day, you pay for something that you were promised won't be changed. And this is what we've talked about time and again with a lot of different games now. Uh, with what happened with Tifa, four years after the fact, they turn around and change a scene that most people didn't even realize was there. And now with Tomb Raider, the remastered version going in and removing some posters it is removing those posters that big of a deal well it is it really is because now they're breaking the promise saying that this game is going to be in its original form those posters were a very very nuanced and neat easter egg for the fans back when tomb raider was created they did everything possible to help and please the fans. And now what we're seeing with the new remastered, it's everything they can do to shit on the fans. And it's absolutely deplorable. These types of things where we have, where, where you own the game, you own that game. Well, I guess you don't own that game anymore. They're just going to take it from your library and they're going to change the original form. And think about this too. You can try and go and mod this back into the game, what is what is Nexus Mod's next move here? Are they going to turn and say, you can't make this mod to put in some posters in the game? These types of things, people used to do, with the, do this with Doom back before modding was a big thing, where you just go in and change a simple file of the game and it would change the look and you could put in your own pictures. These were things that happened. This is where modding started. And so I'm talking about the modding because of what happened with Tifa, where they said, no, you can't do this, although there's nude versions of this out there. Once again, you can turn around and mod this game so you can have a nude Lara Croft running around in the game. But no, no, a couple pixelated, very small pinups in the game, that's not allowed. That missed production quality on the re-release of the remastered of this game absolutely pathetic and this type of thing should be legal for companies to turn around and say we're going to change this very iconic easter egg that was in the game we're going to change this and there's nothing you can do about it because you've accepted the terms of our agreements to purchase the game anyway i'm your proud canadian phoenix Cinder shadow i'm signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again very soon